Hello everyone, welcome to Huawei Cloud Tech Talk. In this episode, we will dive into how to enhance the industry capabilities of models through synthetic data. I will share some practical tips and experiences to help you better understand and address these challenges. When implementing large industry models, we face a key issue. How to significantly enhance the model's industry capabilities while meeting the needs of a various key scenarios without compromising the model's general capabilities. To achieve this, we need to build a large amount of high-quality industrial scenario data for training. However, there are several main challenges in constructing data for industry models. The first is lack of open source existing open source industry data often has a single task type, mainly focusing on industry exam questions or some nation industries have no open source data available, failing to meet the needs of industry scenarios. The second is inconsistency between industry data formats and the training requirements. During the training of industry models, the quality of proprietary data provided by custom various. Much of the data comes from industry books, articles, and other document content, especially proprietary books recognized by OCR, where vocabulary, formulas, tables and other content are prone to misrecognition, which may damage the capability of existing models if trained directly. The third is difficulty in obtaining high-quality answers. Industry Q&A or domain tasks require professional knowledge, industry-specific thinking methods, or evaluation standards making data acquisition challenging. Faced with these challenges, during the process of augmenting training of industry-like models, we often need to construct a large amount of synthetic data to elevate these issues. Typically, we construct a batch of data based on existing data through self-QA and the real query method to ensure comprehensive coverage of questions in the field. Then, we generalize the instructions based on the domain task. Depending on the specific situation of the domain, we decide whether to use a label retriever, similarity retriever, or data construction method like Magpie. After completing data construction, we train and validate the new data to assess its impact on model training. Model Arts Studio provides a series of data synthesis tools that can be used to process industry data, greatly simplifying the process. We imported the pre-trained text we have prepared, selected the self-QA-related instructions in the data synthesis tool, and we generated the relevant instructory QA dataset. Next, we used the data synthesis tool to execute a real question and the real answer mending command on selected pre-trained text to generate a dataset of real text mending query paths.
finally, we imported the prepared QA seeds in instruction data into the platform and executed the self-instruct and evolve instruct data synthesis instructions on the data synthesis tool to quickly enrich our data. In the training of industry models in the financial sector, we fully utilize the technologies such as self-QA, real query, similar query mining, and the instruction generalization to experiment with general large models. The results showed that the model's performance in industry scenarios improved by 1% to 40% especially with significant improvements in specific scenarios through instruction generalization. Through the above practical process, we can gain the following experience. The first experience is when deploying large models in industry scenarios. If the training data is limited, methods such as self-QA and real can be used to synthesize sufficient training data to enhance model training effectiveness. The second experience is using the Model Ask Studio Data Engineering 3. Such as data can be quickly generated for model training. Thank you for watching, and we hope today's content has been helpful to you. Goodbye.